Simple lang po ang ating ceremonias. Uh, in accordance with the directive of the President, kailangan solemn at traditional. Okay. Um, playing of the Philippine Anthem, ecumenical or interfaith prayer, uh, military civic parade, reading of the joint resolutions of the House, all of this is traditional, uh, administration of the oath of office by the uh, Chief Justice, and then the inaugural address, after which tutungo ang mga guests sa loob ng National Museum for the Bon Dunior, uh, to take an hour or so, after which doon na tu ang tunga sa Malacanang para mag-oath taking ang gabinete at ilang mga opisyales. May, I understand there's a street party in Menjola also at the same time. So may mga katanungan kayo dito? Ay, teka, teka, meron pa pala ako isa pang announcement. Sorry. <laughs> oh, excited din naman ako. Miss ko na kayo eh. Okay. Meron tayong bagong appointees. Yay! All right. Uh, the first is, somebody no, Attorney Jose Calida for co-chair. Okay. As you know, he's the former uh, Solicitor General under President Duterte. He was also the former Under Secretary of Justice and formerly also with the Dangerous Drugs Board. Then the second is the President and General Manager of GSIS, Jose Arnulfo, also known as Wick Veloso. He is the President, was the President and Chief Executive, well, was, uh, uh, Officer of the Philippine National Bank. He also used to be with HSBC, who's one of the highest ranking Filipinos there. Also President and CEO, I understand. So those are two, uh, two appointees, bagong amounts for questions. Nasa mic po tayo. Tapos banggitin po pangalan. Until masanay ako sa inyo. <laughs> ah, hindi kito. Hi, Ms. Maris. Uh -huh. Yes, lahat ng ako yung, lahat ng designated na po ako. Kapag may maitalaga na sa kanila, hindi sila siyempre maisasabay dun sa ceremonias bukas, meron silang hiwalay na oath-taking sa harap ng presidente. Yes, po. Meron na po bang details as to the we don't want to ruin the surprise. Bukas na po. Wala po po tayong butahan ito po dyan. Meron, pero... Hindi. Bukas talaga. Oh, surprise. Ano ang pinagpilihan? Hindi, tatlo, no? Tatlo daw ang pinagpilihan natin. Next question. Next, next. I understand meron, pero wala kami yung detalye yung maibibigay yung kuban. Uh, right now, the, the forecast is sunny skies for tomorrow. Sunny? Sunny. That was the prognosis last time. Okay, kung uulan, I, there's a plan B. We haven't, uh, we're not at liberty to discuss plan B right now, so... But also security issues. Ma'am, Eden Santos from Net25. Uh, yes, ma'am. So, dapat sa mic tayo, ha? Ha? Ay, sorry. Yan. Yeah. Eden Santos from Net25. Gano'n po ba, ang abaw sa iklay ng Hindi po, wala po tayong detalye dun sa length. It will also depend on the delivery kasi so uh, wala po kami masasabi tungkol dun sa length na yan. Okay, other questions? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, first, saan mo nang gagaling si President-elect Marcos before he goes to Malacan? Well, I can't say that for security reasons, madam. Ano yung magiging place of residence niya as soon as he is proclaimed as president? We are not at liberty to announce that. Also for security reasons, I apologize na ma-announce kami ng PSG. Okay. 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 
sinusuri pa ko kasi nila as you know nagtalaga tayo ng applications process at saka mayroong proseso para sa pag evaluate dahil nga sinasabi nyo mahalaga yung mga posisyon na ito hindi ito pwedeng madaliin yung proseso uh, wala pa po tayong uh, tuloy na tayo uh, tuloy na daw po so ganyan talaga dignitaries we can tell you some of the diplomatic core that will be there we have the I'll just give you the, the main ones now. The Prime Minister and Minister of Foreign Affairs of Thailand will be there. Uh, the Vice President of Vietnam. The Vice President of the Republic of China. Uh, and of course, the Second Gentleman of the United States. And also the okay. ambassadors who uh, need courtesy calls. How they be expected of you well, the members of the diplomatic corps are usually invited anyway to the inaugural to represent. The former first lady and the Marcos is staying to the inaugural reception, or maybe the new president, President Bongo. She will be present. She will be present. Yes, it's a light dinner anyway. So, sabi ko kasi ni Mariana, mahal daw po ni President Bongo Marcos ang there's no program for the for the dinner for the reception that we know of, of course. Yeah. Thank you, uh, thank you very much. Any other questions? Thank you. Thank you.